And the question we ask them is, each of you represent organizations that are passionate about nutrition. What is the single biggest message or light bulb moment that struck you from this past week that is going to inform your work going forward? Uh, and I'm going to start with Andrew Morley, who is the CEO of World Vision International. And Andrew, every time I think of World Vision, I think back incredibly fond memories of, I think, Mozambique almost two decades ago when I was with Helen Keller International. And there was a new way of measuring anemia that just come out, and we joined forces to actually do a national-based anemia survey. So I think, obviously, World Vision has been deeply committed. We've been in partnership for a long time. So thank you for joining us. And we look forward to hearing your responses. There should be a microphone on the table that works. You have it already. Over to you. Thank you. And um, yeah, it's wonderful to be here. So the key learning for me this week has been the importance of focusing on girls and women in our work. It, in all the places that World Vision works, which is 100 countries across the world with 33,000 staff, we're incredibly operational as an organization. We know that children and girls' futures are dependent on good nutrition. It leads to better health, better protection, better education, and better life chances for girls. We also know that good nutrition is achievable for girls. We've just launched a new campaign that we call Enough. It's our key campaign for the next three years across the whole organization. And it talks about having enough of the right nutritious food for all children across the world, particularly focusing on girls. We know that one of the things that particularly strikes me is that if we capture the needs that girls have and really address their needs in terms of nutrition and, and hunger, we can make a big difference and we can do it together. Particularly for adolescent girls and for women of child uh, of reproductive age. And often they're the most neglected group that we work with. And we simply cannot advance development where a billion women and girls are marginalized by multiple micronutrient deficiencies and often anemia, funny you should mention that particularly. I'd like to give a, an example. I was in Azraq refugee camp in Syria. And we had three people attend ha our local clinic. It was Mira and her two daughters, um, Ruth and Mary. And they were lethargic, they were weak, and it transpired that they were malnourished, but they also had micronutrient deficiencies, and particularly anemia. And we worked with them, we treated them, which was a very quick treatment, and we then gave them advice, something called PD Hearth, which helped them design good food for the future, and it's transformed their lives. And it was a very simple intervention, but very, very much life-changing for all three of them. And I know that here in the room, there's lots of people who are passionate about uh, achieving good nutrition for, for girls and for women. And so partnerships for us is absolutely key in this. I've just come from the School Meals Coalition um, conference in Paris, and World Vision provides school meals to a million, um, uh, sorry, yes, a million children a year. A million children have school meals provided by World Vision. And there's no reason why they can't be um, healthy meals and have all the micronutrients that they need too. But to realize the potential of these programs, we, we know that the importance of things that aren't very glamorous, but things like deworming, improved hygiene, must sit alongside what we do with these programs. And it's also for us a chance to provide the best education on how girls need to design their food for the future. And a big part of this for us is also advocacy. We work with countries like the Netherlands, like the Netherlands government, something we call Right to Grow, which is all about local level advocacy for girls, often, for them to advocate for the right nutrition. And so my, my final comments are, I welcome working together in partnership with the group here on stage, but also you in the room, um, to ensure that we do focus on girls and we do make the difference. 
And for us, our Enough campaign uh, has a bold objective to end malnutrition and hunger once and for all. And it sounds like a bold objective, but we believe it's possible. We're hopeful. We're, um, we're um, violent optimists in this. We really believe it's possible. And we believe that for people like Mira, for Mary, and for Ruth, we need to be with them in their hour of need, but also give them tools for the, for the future. And let girls have enough of the right nutrition and not be hungry. Thank you.